Hi, this is Susan Fleming, and in this video, I wanted to share with you an organization that I have loved being involved with. This is Habitat for Humanity of the Tri-State, so it encompasses all three states, and I am here with Executive Director David Michael, and I've served on his board for about three years now, and I have been so impressed with his leadership, and I always enjoy our board meetings because they're so organized, we cover so much information, and David has led this organization to accomplish so much. So we are standing here in the new Habitat Restore in New Boston, Ohio, that is going to be having a grand opening soon. And I'm gonna let David tell us a little bit more about it. Thanks, Susan. So welcome to our, our new addition to the Habitat family, which is our second Restore location here in the Tri-State. Uh, this is a 48,000 square foot building in New Boston, Ohio. Uh, we have converted that space into about 24,500 square feet of habitat space that we will use for our habitat restore, some storage for construction stuff, meeting space, um, and just a great place for folks to come and hang out and get to know habitat a little bit better. Uh, ways folks can get involved in this space, uh, first off is the volunteer side of the equation. And it's not just, you know, everyone thinks about the volunteer piece and, the, and the, the kind of sexy thing that we do being the pounding of nails and painting of walls and mm -hmm. putting shingles on a, on a habitat house that we'll work with a homeowner to, to build. Um, while that's true, um, folks can also come in here to the ReStore and volunteer their time as well. Uh, it helps out immensely, helps keep our overhead down and all the items that we sell in our ReStore, uh, all the proceeds once we pay our overhead goes right back into our house building side of the ministry that we do. Um, you know, Susan, in her capacity as a board member, mm -hmm. is volunteering her time. That's one of the things that separates for-profit organizations from not-for-profit organizations, is we don't pay our board members. All of our, all 17 of our board members volunteer their time. Uh, they have the fiduciary responsibility for our organization, uh, oversight of me, um, to make sure that the organization is running properly from top to bottom, side to side, and every other way. Uh, and, and so let us just kind of take you on a quick tour of what we have available for sale in the ReStore. And before we do that, one of the other things that you'll see when we look around at the store and what items are in the store to sell, um, you can get involved by donating items such as furniture and knickknacks and appliances and used, you know, building materials you may have left over from your home improvement project. All of those things are for sale here in our Habitat Restore, and I think you'll be impressed at the selection of items that we have here in our nice, bright, shiny new space. All right, let's go take a look, and David can tell us more about what's available here. So we have a little bit of everything available from um, lamps and wall hangings, uh, you know, pictures and mirrors, to tools, uh, paint supplies. Uh, we have a gracious, uh, local ha um, Lowe's store that uh, is here in Wheelersburg, Ohio, that has donated uh, a lot of different items to our store. Everything from paint to uh, a, a huge quantity of closed out fasteners, everything from mm -hmm. nails and screws and just anything that you can use to fasten something together, we've got it here. And, and the really neat thing about, especially the new product that we sell, it's discounted at least 50% off of what the retail price will be. So it's very affordable for not, for the general public to come in. A lot of, one of the misperceptions about ReStores is that once they're open, they're only open for Habitat homeowners. Mm -hmm. And that's not the case. Habitat ReStores are open to the general public. Anybody from any walk of life, any place can come and shop at our ReStore. Um, one of the things that we do in not only this location, but also our Huntington location, is if you are a frequent shopper and would like to have, enjoy an additional savings, we offer a $25 per year discount card that you can buy. And it's in the moment you buy it, it's effective. So if you come in our store today and say, I wanna be that. part of that buyer's club, you get your card in the, in the mail to you, but we'll go ahead and give you that 10% off of your entire purchase the day you sign up for that. It's an awesome deal. Everybody loves the deal. And again, so. like I said, once the, 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 the ReStore is, is, has become, not just in our local community, but also across the nation where there's this, you know, 700 plus ReStores in the United States. Yes. Um, this is the sustainable fundraising piece of Habitat, and it really puts 
where the boots meet the ground, it helps support that part of our ministry on the house building yes. side. So the, all the, like I said earlier, the proceeds from what we sell here goes right back into that house building mm -hmm. ministry. Yes, I love that. And we've got furniture here. We've got, was there an office that was closing down and you got a bunch of We had a furniture? large, a large 45 plex office complex that closed down and, mm -hmm. and we had all of the remaining filing cabinets and desks and storage cabinets yeah. and whiteboards and anything that you would use in an office setting as far as furnishings go were donated here. Yeah. Uh, that company actually blessed us with bringing in a moving company with that had two trucks yes. and, and they moved the vast majority of those items for us out of the building into the trucks and into a storage spot. That is so cool because instead of having to dump things and I and I've been a house flipper before too so a lot of times when I bought a house mm -hmm. it would have some decent furniture in it and Habitat will come and pick it up there's Correct. no cost right for That's them right. to come and pick up things from estates Correct. or uh, you know if you have a house and you've inherited a house or somehow ended up with a house you're not sure what to do with and need to clean it out call Habitat. Or through and, downsizing. Uh, through downsizing too. So yeah. if you've got furniture and you just, you, you don't want to have to consign it, you just want to donate and get rid of it and move on, call David at Habitat and he will send his crew out there to pick up the furniture and put it right. in the restore. And one thing I want to say that I'm so impressed with is how organized this restore is. You can probably see behind us, I mean, there's a lot of space. You can shop easily. You can see what's available. and. I love shopping at secondhand stores, you so, know. So I have to say, one of the unique <laughs> features, actually we have a few unique, unique features here in our restore. We, one of our board members, Paul White, mm -hmm. has become an expert, and he said, told me on, many new, on numerous different occasions that he now understands that the use of pallets mm -hmm. can be turned into a whole bunch of different things. Wow. So the counter that we were standing at early in our time together, yes. that wood is pallet wood. That is so cool. He also is a, um, a woodworking specialist. He, yes. he makes some really neat stuff. Ah. And behind us, yes. this cart that, you, that could be many different things in a house, yes. that was actually an old push cart that he took oak wood and made that frame with and then put a glass top on it and you could use it for a food cart, you could use yes. it for a coffee table. I mean, there's Absolutely. just numerous uses for that. And it is there's really so a neat piece. So much um, you can do with it. The sign behind where we started. Yes. That that metal sign was done by a local um, artisan. She is a welder by trade. She makes not just stuff like that, but she mm -hmm. makes all kinds of neat things out of metal. Mm. Sells them locally at various fairs and events. Mm -hmm. um, Paul and uh, Kevin Race did all, again, he, the two of them did all of our woodwork, so the woodwork mm -hmm. that's behind that sign, Paul and, and Kevin did that. Uh, we have a double door uh, back here on the that goes to another storage area. They did the decorative wood that's on it. Mm. I mean, it's just amazing how you know, they've discovered all these different uses for pallet wood and how professional and how good it looks. Mm -hmm. it, it really does. I mean, the sign really stands out, the lighting behind it, and just the wood treatment behind the sign yeah. is just amazing. So you've got to come in and see the new restore Absolutely. in New Boston, Ohio. Yes. And there is one also in Canova, West Virginia. Yep. Huntington. Huntington, Huntington, West Huntington, mm -hmm. right? Yep. The, yes. the new Boston restore is located at 3520, so 3520 Rhodes Avenue. And the building was the former, for those of who are in the local area and know the former Blackburn grocery store and pharmacy, that's the building where we're located. Uh, we're right next to the same shopping plaza that has Rural King. Um, and we're sandwiched in between there and Wagner Brothers Rental. And it's a great, a great place to come shop, donate, volunteer. Um, we, you can do it all. You sure can. And uh, how do they stay in touch with you to know about when the open house is going to be, it when will, the grand opening will It be? will be posted on the New Boston Restore um, Habitat for Humanity New Boston, Ohio, or New Boston Restore Facebook page. We'll also publish it in local media. Um, we'll also have it on the Huntington Restore Facebook page mm -hmm. and the Habitat for Humanity of the Tri-State Facebook page. Excellent. And I'll have it on my Facebook page, too. Yeah. So anybody who follows me will know when this grand opening is. Yes. So any last words, David? Well, again, 
it, it's great to have you as part of our board. It's also great to have uh, folks who support what we do because 90% of, of the material, the merchandise we have for sale on this sales floor right now has been donated by local folks just like you, mm -hmm. um, just like me. Um, and that's what will help make this even more sustainable, uh, contribute more funds to help us serve more families in the tri-state, which is what it's all about. That's exactly what it's all about. And I love people like David who have a real heart for Habitat for Humanity. It's not just a job for David, that's right. it's his passion. Yeah. And I'm on the board because it's my passion as well, as are all the board members right. who are here. Yes. So David screens them for that too. Yeah. And we've got a fantastic group of people who love Habitat and I hope you will get involved too. In one way or another, you know how to reach us. And this is Susan Fleming celebrating Habitat for Humanity with David Michael, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for joining us.